relationships between angles. Eva and Zoe are going to the bike store. While they wait for the mechanic to look at their bikes, they are picking out decorations for their wheels. They start with the front wheel on Zoe's bike. There are two spokes in the form of a right angle that are decorated. Now they want to fill the space between them. Let's help them. Select two decorations that, when put together, add up to 90 degrees. I think this one and this decoration. Nice job. Let's try it. How much do the angles measure? You can use the protractor to help you measure the angles. Okay, let's grab the protractor and make sure that the center of the protractor lines with the vertex. Now let's turn it so it aligns with one of the axes. And let's read it counterclockwise. So it would be 10, 20, 30, 40. 40 degrees. There's an answer missing. Oh, I forgot the, the second angle. Let's try the second angle. So this is the first angle. Let's do the same exact thing with the second angle. So it aligns with the vertex here. And let's turn it so it's also aligned with the horizontal axis. And now let's read it this way. So reading the inner scale. So 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. 50. I think it reads, measures 50 degrees. Perfect! The one on the left has an angle of 40 degrees, and the one on the right measures 50 degrees. Notice that the measurement of both decorations make a right angle. When two angles put together add up to 90 degrees, a right angle, then those angles are complementary and how can we know the complementary angle if we do not have a protractor? For example, if we have a decoration like the previous ones with an angle measuring 35 degrees, and we want to look for another that has a complementary angle, how do we know how much the angle should measure? We know that together they have to add up to 90 degrees, and that one of them, alpha, measures 35 degrees. The other, which we will call beta, corresponds to the angle missing in order for alpha and beta when added together to make a right angle. What operation should we use to calculate the value of alpha's complementary angle? So we know that alpha and beta equal 90 degrees. So in order to find what beta equals, we would just have to subtract alpha from 90 degrees. So I think it's this one. 90, 90 degrees minus 35. Nice job! How much does alpha's complementary angle measure? So 90 degrees minus 35 degrees equals 55 degrees. Perfect! To find the complementary angle of one of the angles, it should be subtracted from a right angle. It will always be less than a right angle. Now they are going to decorate the front wheel from Eva's bicycle. It has two decorated spokes in the form of a straight angle, and they are going to fill the space between them. Select two decorations that, when put together, add up to 180 degrees. I think these two, so this one and this one. Nice job! Let's try it! How much do the angles measure? You can use the protractor to help you measure the angles. Okay, let's grab the protractor and do the same thing as we did before. Make sure we align it with the vertex and turn it. Now reading it counterclockwise and from the outer scale. So we have 0, 10, 20, 30, all the way to... It looks like it's between 110 and 120 degrees. So I would say it's 115 degrees. And let's measure the second. Let's not forget that one. So let's align it with the vertex. And let's turn oopsies. And turn it so it aligns with this axis. And reading it clockwise, it would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65 degrees. So this one is 65 degrees. Exactly! The one on the left has an angle of 115 degrees, 
and the one on the right is 65 degrees. Together, they make a straight angle. When two angles add up to 180 degrees, a straight angle, they are called supplementary angles. What operation should we use to find the supplementary angle of a specific angle, like alpha? Hmm, so I would think it would be 180 degrees minus alpha. Let's see. That's it. To find the supplementary angle of one specific angle, we need to subtract the angle from the straight angle. It will always be less than a straight angle. Finally, they are going to try to completely decorate the back wheels, because right now there is only one spoke decorated. So they chose two decorations with supplementary angles, and they are going to place two pairs. Since each pair equals 180 degrees, both pairs together add up to 360 degrees, the complete circumference. If you look closely, you can see that they form two straight intersecting lines. Select two decorations that are not right next to each other. This one and this one. Perfect! The angles of the sides of these two decorations are equal because the decorations are the same. The angles have a vertex in common and the sides of one are the extension of the other sides. They are opposite angles. The opposite angles have the same measurement. Now select two decorations that are right next to each other. Okay, so this one and this decoration. Perfect! What do these decorations have in common? So these two decorations have well, the vertex, so let's select that. And, well, one side. So, one side. Of course, they have their vertex in common, and one side. The angles that have the vertex and one side in common are consecutive angles. The consecutive angles that add up to 360 degrees are called adjacent angles at a point. Eva and Zoe's bikes are ready to go for a ride. With the girls, you have learned about the different relationships between angles, depending on their position and measurement. Now keep practicing!